What's shaking and baking, all you hip cool cats? My name is Kit, and this is Chicago Reacts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that ring bell notification. That way, all you beautiful people are made aware when we upload new content upon our YouTube channel. And today, 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 we have ourselves a fun video to check out. It is from none other than Martin Siddlepence, because I was told, everyone, by all of you, our viewing audience, because after all, it's all of you that have made this channel grow into what it is. We are at 103,000 subscribers. Can we get to 1 million subscribers? Oh, absolutely, because without all of you, we wouldn't have that fancy silver play button. So that's pretty cool right there. So, folks, you guys said I should check out I Build City Skylines 2, Largest City, and then I Destroy It. So, folks, I've played City Skylines. It is a great game. It is a nice, relaxing game. And I get to name the buildings and people, and I'm enjoying this already because it, it'll it'll bring some warmth to my heart. Because if you remember from the beginning when we had our Twitch channel, one of the first games I actually did play on it was uh, City Skylines. So it was a lot of fun building building a city, a town. So let's go ahead and see what Martin Siddlepants does. And I'm pretty sure he won't destroy it. How can he destroy it? There's many ways you can destroy it, but knowing him, he'll do something absolutely destructive. So... Without further ado, please, folks, support the original content creator. The link to the original video is in the description box below. But now, let's pull up this video and play it in a three, a two, and an uno. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey! <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> Welcome to Poopville. <laughs> A few weeks ago, the wonderful people over at Paradox Interactive gave me access to an early build of City Skylines 2. And then, they put me on a crane. We'll talk about that later. In City nice. Skylines 2, you build cities, construct townships, move people around with mass nice. networks, and try your absolute hardest to not murder hundreds of thousands of people with a tsunami of poo. Since this is an early pre-release of the So in other words, a... F a, a a feces wave, but also with new City Skylines 2 coming out, which, again, I know there's City Skylines, but City Skylines 2. Oh, wow. I, oh, I'm really excited for this. Okay, because here's the thing. I really enjoy the modding community, and since you all know Japan is close to my heart, I actually got the mod for Japan to have some, have some, some, some of the buildings there. So there you go in my little city. My my little humble city, so oh my goodness, City Skylines 2, this is great! This is great! The game, only a select few people can actually play it, which gave me a devilish idea. Mm. Without too much effort, I can probably make the largest city the game has ever seen. And then I can commit unspeakable atrocities upon my glorious creation. So let us begin. Let us Wanting to start things off properly, I began the game with tutorials. Move with these keys, tilt the camera with these keys, build roads like this, yes. mm. zoning. And before I knew it, I had built the beginning of a small town, burgeoning with life, ready to take on the future, inhabited by the brightest of a new generation, a town of bustling opportunities, limitless growth. Crush them. That's a big phallic dome. Yep. That's, uh, uh, yeah. Unlike the first game, I had no limit on the amount of terraforming I could do, which meant I could do things like this. Ah. I, I, I see what you're trying to do there. That's all right. That's pretty cool. All right. For the city's road network, I had conceived an incredible solution to traffic. Triangle. This amazing technology makes every single intersection in the city six ways. You might think this is very stupid, and it is, but what's even stupider is this type of intersection actually exists in real life. And where else would it exist than beautiful, sunny Los Angeles? Hey look, it's 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 a fecal matter spot. The thing the thing that the thing that's still up there. I wonder if they turned it into a shrine, which we found out it is. The real intersection is even worse than these ones, though, because it doesn't have any traffic lights. Just six stop signs. What the what? Fuck? 
With traffic 100% solved, forever, I could move on to more important things. Like schools, police stations, water infrastructure, fire stations, and most importantly, somewhere to put all the poo. Mm. How about, uh... There? Here. Once the poo had been successfully routed into the poo cano, it was only a matter of time until it filled. Well, a matter of very long time. I spent about another hour on the city, and by then it had filled to about here. Ugh. Not very high. And that meant it was <clears throat> time to drink. Placing a water pump inside the poo cano resulted in fresh poo being delivered directly to people's taps. Ah. The entire city <clears throat> to either pack up and leave, or die. Well, Poopville was no more. And with that, we move on to attempt two. Gentlemen, welcome to Peniston. This city went a little better than Poopville. A little. This time, I spent a bit longer learning the basic principles of the game, and examined things that had been changed from City Skylines 1. Hmm. Things like much larger, really nice looking service buildings. Ooh. Like this coal plant. Ooh. Or this landfill. Mm. Nice. I checked out the new zoning. Pedestrian only streets. The grid tool. And of course, radio announcements telling you what's going on in the city. The commercial district is booming. More radio announcements. So really? Oh, I like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. They better say nice things about the mayor or I will go mad with power. A housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? And my personal favorite. There's a widespread concern over fears that an insidious underground criminal organization has seized control of the area. Recent crime stats confirm that the crime wave has certainly gripped. <laughs> the frog has clout. He's in my walls! Power region. And it's showing no signs of letting up. I don't like the sound of that, Glenda. We'll be back after this. Oh, 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 all of this was <laughs> So, I, uh, flattened a bit of land and got to work on the next area. I did a bit of bus stuff, zoned a bunch of housing, built these terrible, awful roads connecting everything, and then people started drinking poo again. Uh. Fucking goddamn shit. Attempt three. Before attempt three began, I had a few things to do. Namely, fly all the way to Germany, hang up for a few days, and then get hoisted 50 meters into the air by a crane. Now the Oh my god, dude, you were actually part of that? On the one hand, that's 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 a ballsy move. Let's 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 see where it takes you. But also number two, um ah, forget forget it, man. We're all gonna die someday. I I would have gladly have been part of that. That that actually looks like a lot of fun. But at least, at least, you didn't eat up there. You just played video games because I could see all the computers up there. We're in position. It was time to begin our fabulous new city. When naming this new city, I tried to think of a name that inspired greatness. A name that made me think. Chicago. New Chicago. Chicago too. Mm. Gentlemen, behold, the grand city of this time, I wasn't going to keep mm. messing around. This time, I would research the ins and outs. That's, that's an alright name, but I would call it, you know, New Chicago. I don't know. I don't know. After all, after all, folks, just, just want to throw this out here. For a previous React video that we did, Martin Sidopants, the Martin Sidopants, actually reached out to us in, in one of his videos in a comment section. And so, we, and, we, and we did do a React video to that announcement. And we did respond to it. We, we, we actually did. Chicago Reacts did respond. So may, maybe the next time, next time you build a city, New Chicago should be the name. It's of city building. Just, I would just say it. A wonderful, perfect, flawless utopian city. So first things first, I did some research. <laughs> and with that research completed, here are my findings. So, Let's do it. we want to build the largest possible city. A city that has an extremely high population. Ah! All buying products, driving their car, and most importantly, pooping out their butt. Well, to get to that point... Because that's where poo needs to go out. I mean, can't have it come out anywhere else. Can't have crap coming out your mouth. What? You know I'm right. By, by the way, folks, uh, in City Skylines, I actually named my universities. 
Um, and I gave them all wonderful names. The Southern Hampton Institute of Technology, the Federal Union College of Knowledge, the American Social Service, uh, the Bio Institute of Technology, Civility, and Hospitality. Yeah, those 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 are great names. <laughs> <laughs> or or the Southern Logistic Union of Technology. What? D these are great names. These are great names. Our new city of um. These are great names for colleges. I can name things. What? What? Couldn't just be a huge grid with nothing but apartment buildings. Believe me, I tried. No one moved in. Oh. This city needed to be attractive. People had to actually want to move in. And that substantially complicates things. So, why would a citizen want to move here? Well, maybe they've got a good job, or the amenities are nice, the shops sell cool stuff, cool. the city services are reliable, it's safe, there are dudes that be selling that good zaza, plenty of crack, a nice, pleasant location <laughs> to gamble away my kids' college fund, yes. on every street corner. The reasons one might want to live in a city- And who doesn't want to have hookers on the street corner? I mean, come on. Come on, everybody has a right to work are truly endless, so we have to try to accommodate as many as possible. First and foremost, they need somewhere to live. So let's build some roads, zone them for low-density residential, mm -hmm. and wait. Yes. Hey, we got a person. Hooray! Our first citizen, the Pooh Man. The if I man. wanted the Pooh Man to actually stay in this city, I needed to build a few service buildings. A groundwater pump for pumping groundwater. Yeah. Yeah. A wind mill for milling wind an industrial sector for people to work at. And then I had to decide on a place to put the poo. Hmm. No, not there. Hmm. Not there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put it here. Okay, Once right that there. was all done, I zoned a few more things and then just sort of sat back and watched my creation do its magic. I even found a dog. Hey, look. It's a pupper's. Bar. Bar. And there we go. Our first milestone. Ooh! Tiny this village. milestone unlocked a few new service buildings. I placed down a medical clinic, cool. a cemetery, an All elementary right. school, a landfill. <laughs> the city of Mmm was definitely making me go... Mmm. With the city now growing quite quickly, came even more unlock. Roundabouts, fire stations, police stations, higher density... Wait, hills. wait, wait. Round about. Round about. Round about. Round about. Specialized industry, and before I knew it, mm, had reached 1,000 population. And hey. nighttime. Mm. Nighttime in this game looks quite nice. Yeah, it does. Now, the build I was playing on was quite an early one, which meant it came with a few bugs here and there. My favorite of which being gas stations with uh, rather powerful lights. <laughs> so, what next? Well, now the city had reached 1,000 population, I had to do something truly awful. I had to start thinking. You see, in the first game, all big cities- You have to use your big brain. Think. Think, Martin. Think. Think. Think, Martin. Had one common struggle. Traffic. If I wanted the city to be truly huge, I had to get on top of traffic before huge. it became an issue. So, of course, I did some more research. <laughs> Holy shit. Roads. Roads on the surface may seem simple enough. Get them wrong, and disaster will follow. Yes. So, how do you not get them wrong? Well, by following a few basic principles of road networks. First being, roadway hierarchy. You probably already have a vague idea of what this means. Ah! Obviously, a highway has a pretty different purpose than the road that goes to your house. Yes. The hierarchy goes like this. Highways, then arterial roads, then collectors, and then local roads. They don't necessarily need different numbers of lanes or higher speed or really anything distinguishing them. The distinction is more about where they are in the network than what they actually look like. Each step down the hierarchy trades off mobility or how fast you can get from point A to B with access or how many things you can put on that road. Local roads have the highest access but lowest mobility, while highways have the highest mobility with the lowest access. Right. Speaking of highways, uh, hey, there's a highway right there. Oh. So, back to Man, it. Oof. Not, not, not like being hoisted up in the air playing a video game. Why, why, why not? Because why not? The nukes will be a flying someday, and you gotta live life. The city of... We can see that these basic road principles have already been used. This road here is an arterial road. 
We've got Good. some collectory looking dudes off to the side here, and right. all our houses are placed nicely along local roads. Next up, another neighborhood. An arterial road up here, and... Wonderful. As our city grew larger, we unlocked even more stuff. This stuff is quite important, since we need to keep our citizens happy so more move in. <laughs> the frog was in your walls. You, d you weren't paying attention. In order to keep our citizens happy, I had devised a devious plan. Mm. Fuck that. <laughs> With the city sufficiently, uh, lathered in parks, mm -hmm. I could add more stuff. An industrial area here, mm -hmm. some mixed-use developments over here, a college here, an experimental yeah. pedestrian on the street. Wait. Area here, some mixed-use developments over here, a college here, and... Yeah, okay, I, I heard the beat too. Folks, this is a family-friendly show. More stuff. An industrial area here, some mixed-use developments over here, a college here, an experimental pedestrian on the street with shops over here, and before I knew it, 5,000 population. Oh, At this point in the nice. game, issues start cropping up, like our cash flow is still negative, or there's a little bit of traffic, or there's a giant forest fire bearing down on the city. Yeah, I'm sure all that's fine. We're going to take the noble path and completely ignore it. You see, in City Skylines, road design and layout will only get you so far in fighting traffic. The best way to stop jams is for there to be no cars there in the first place. Right. Gentlemen, it was time to busy ourselves with public transit. You know, uh, listen, it's been a while since I used the CTA. Quite right, actually in February. Uh, that's the Chicago, you know, public transportation, right? And uh, I gotta tell you, I've had I've had my fair shares of, uh, well, nightmarish and gross situations on being on the train, <clears throat> seeing a bunch of uh, alcoholics passed out drunk, a crazy person screaming into the intercom to the conductor who's driving the train, a train actually speeding past the stop that it's supposed to be at. I know that's actually happened. Um, Quite some time ago, there was a line called the Blue Line, or there, there is, it obviously still exists, right? But uh, there was an incident in which a Blue Line train, which connects all the way to O'Hare Airport, actually crashed at the O'Hare International Airport. Google it. You'll see it. It was a real thing. And I'll never forget my time in college when we used to take this line to get to, uh, to, get to my university. It was the Brown Line. And one day, my friends and I were walking on the train, and as we stepped in, we noticed that there was an odd smell, a fecal kind of smell. Maybe done by the poo man, I don't know. But I just recall my friend laughing and saying, hey, now I get why they call it the brown line. As we saw in the neighboring seat, a giant turd. No, yeah, it's a real thing. Now I know everyone's going to say, hey, did you take a photo? No, I did not take a photo. I just walked to the next train car. So that's, that's, that's what I did. But literally, the brown the brown line earned its name that day. The brown line earned its name that day. At our small scale, we only really have the capacity to add buses. So we'll add some buses. Buses. I remember first playing City Skylines 1 and spamming the shit out of buses absolutely everywhere. Doing this resulted in bus lines that look something like this. Now yes, mm. this line does in fact service a lot of people, but if you live here, and want to go here, instead of the bus going straight there, it goes here, then around here, and then stops here, and finally arrives here. This system... is dumb. Yes it is. It's far better to have a bus that just goes from one point to another in the city, and then stops in between. Ah. With that said, here's my first bus route. It takes people from the apartments to the industrial area, and back. Simple. Now, of course, the whole point of doing this is to allow people to get around without using their car. The vast majority of people, when given the choice between a bus and a car, all else equal, will almost always choose a car. Yes. This is great if you want your city to look like this, no. but I don't. So we need to make the bus a viable alternative. We can do this with bus lanes to prioritize bus traffic, or by not providing parking near the destination so they can't drive there. Oh, What's more important, okay. however, is that the public transit system has layers to it. Public transit isn't just buses. It's also trams, metro, ferries, trains, and even aircraft. All these systems should mesh together to provide a viable alternative to just getting in your car and driving to your destination. The end result? Okay. Well, hopefully, not this. Ah. The beginnings of our public transit network laid out came rezoning. Mm. 
If I wanted the city to be the largest the game had ever seen, these single family homes were no good. In their place, I zoned for time to destroy grandma's house. Mixed use, which are just apartment blocks with shops on the bottom. Instead of housing four or five people, mixed use developments can house 60 to 80. Of course, I couldn't rezone everything at once, so I just did it gradually. Bulldozing grandma's house only every so often. <laughs> I'm happy he said bulldoze grandma's house. Hey man, grandma's house, he had to go. It's just like the story in Up. <laughs> With more population, once again, came more unlocks. This time, we'd unlocked the office space. Mm. Why work in a dangerous, hazardous manufacturing job when you can just sit on a computer and slap a keyboard for eight hours a day? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's a hard worker right there. Well done, sir. It's you know, maybe I shouldn't have paused it, but he looks like he's staring right at me. Like, kind of like into my soul. I'm sorry. So, hey, you got you got a great setup, and I'm and I'm and I'm sorry to have bothered. Oh God, he he's really looking right at me. S sorry to bother you, sir. Car carry on. Admit it. Offices have a few advantages over industry. The important one being they don't produce pollution. This means that we can place them wherever we want. They also employ a higher proportion of educated workers. Good. This is good when your city has a high level of education. Mine doesn't, but it's nice to think that maybe someday it will. Yeah, that, that college has nothing on the Federal Union College of Knowledge. That's right. The Federal Union College of Knowledge. You know, for some reason, their merchandise really sells out too. Just like the uh, American Social Service. Or, um, you know, the Southern Hampton Institute of Technology. Their merch just sells out. I don't know why. In the meantime, though, the citizens needed to be put back to work. Get back to work! Oh, shit. In particular, we needed more industry. Mm. Perhaps like this chemical plant building thing, mm. which looks really cool. And want to drink whatever funny liquid it produces. That's right. Mr. White, it's time to cook. You got it, Jesse. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, cook. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> You know what? I think I need to watch this again and uh, smoke some emerald green because this looks trippy. Hold on. By the way, the goggles, they do nothing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. In that time I spent doing uh, whatever it was that I was doing, the city had managed to pass the 15,000 population milestone. Good. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah, and I was uh, still on the crane. Guys, it's been a long time. Guys, can you please let me down, please, guys? Everything. Hold on. Whoa. Wait a minute. 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 I'm not a master of logistics or technology or science or engineering, but okay, you're all the way up there. Uh, what if someone has a bathroom emergency? Like, obviously, you got to do your pregame dump, which is something I always recommend. We here at Chicago Reacts always encourage everyone to do a pregame dump. What's a pregame dump? A pregame dump is before you play the big game. Even if you don't have to, always just double check. Like, hey, maybe do I have a ghost? Do I have a ghost crap inside my stomach, you know? Do your pregame dump. Whenever you whenever you have got a big test, you're going to get married, going to be sentenced to jail, going to be serving overseas, do your pregame dump. It'll save the day. But seriously, what if someone had a bathroom emergency, you know? Like that's 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 that seems like kind of important, don't you think?
thing in mm was going perfectly. The commercial district was The commercial district is booming. Oh. As the air industry was on industry the rise. Industry in the region is on the rise. Mm. And when A housing shortage was driving up prices A in the area. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. Oh my god, yes. That's I get it. Do these radio announcers ever shut the fuck up? <laughs> no, Martin. We don't shut up. No. He's staring right in my soul. Look. Stop that. What? Martin, time is running out. The citizens demanded Martin. The citizens want poo. Martin, what? the Pucano is coming. No, 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 why are you Martin. saying this? The no, this isn't right. Stop, please. Stop. Stop. Martin. Stop, please. Martin. Please, please stop. Giant Go away. Martin. What are you talking about? I like this. Please. please. What are you talking about? No, 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 I don't want to fight with poo. No. No. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh... No, hold on, wait. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Let's see, hashtag crime around. Can we get some more police here, please? Ah, maybe, maybe Martin's involved in some sort of criminal underground. Shut up! Uh, well, uh... That was weird. I hit this new milestone. Yippee! Build this bridge thing. Cool. Yeah. Martin. Mm. Okay, well, uh, maybe we should try a port. Yes, of course. Because it's got like the funny. Yes. You know the funny. You know the the funny. The funny water vehicle. You know. You know the funny. Uh. So I made a port. Now the city has shipping access. Hooray! Okay. Yes, perfect. How about a train yard and some trains. Alrighty. Bam. Trains. A stop over here. A stop over here. Some tunnels connecting them all. This cool train bridge thing. Nice. Nice. How about a metro? Metro stations, tunnels, metro lines. The attractiveness of mm was truly off the charts. And in the next couple of hours of playing, the population ballooned from 15,000 to 50,000 people. Whoa. This once again unlocked a swath of new high density buildings. So to cram even more people into my more and more limited space, I zoned a bunch of high rises. Mm was well on its way to city glory. That's nice but right this there. This huge influx did in fact cause a few issues. Namely, traffic. With so many people moving in all at once, car traffic coming into the city was truly huge. So to combat this, I came up with a genius idea. A wonderful, pleasant, beautiful urban highway. Currently, there's only one access point into the city, but with our wonderful new urban highway and this cool bridge, there was now two. Okay, cool. highways are cool and all that, but what's the best way to merge a highway with another road? Gentlemen, it's time to dive into the wonderful world of <laughs> interchanges. So, you're an urban planner, okay. and you've got a problem. You've got this big road going this way, and another big road going this way. How do you join them together? Hmm. Well, with an interchange. There are several to choose from, and they all serve slightly different purposes. Trumpet interchange, three-way okay. directional interchange, single point urban interchange, clo okay. partial clover leaf, diverging diamond, and everyone's favorite concrete abomination, the stack interchange. Some of these interchanges- That actually looks like- that looks pretty cool, actually. ...are meant for moving traffic from one highway to another, like the stack interchange, while others are made for taking traffic off the highway and putting it onto a more accessible road. This is what we want for our new highway. So for this job, I chose the diamond interchange. Well, a pretty basic and honestly shit version of one, but a diamond interchange nonetheless. I repeated this basic shit design down the length of our wonderful stretch of road and ended up with this. Once that was done, it was time to build a cool bridge all the way back to the mainland and connect it up to the highway down there. This requires another interchange. Hooray! For this job, we're using a three-way directional interchange. As the title says, it's three ways, three -way. directional, and an interchange. Hmm. Has like a kind of a, a very strange image to it, but okay. Yeah. Anyway, with that place down, this wonderful new section of highway is open for business. And you know what that means? More expansion. Wider and bigger. Of course, meaning huge influxes of new people. In just a few hours, the city managed to go from 50,000 population all the way up to 90,000. Huge swaths of new people making their way into the city via our new highway proved very quickly that the interchanges I had designed were in fact very bad, and I should feel bad about it. Fucking idiot, fucking stupid dumbass. Not to worry though, because one of my intercity trains I had the foresight of building was doing some serious heavy lifting. A couple of them were even full, holding 800 passengers each. All 800 of which got off at one station, causing this wonderful cascade of bodies to come flooding out, filling the streets like some sort of gelatinous liquid. Beautiful. And with that, 
more expansion. I built more neighborhoods and more neighborhoods and more and more thousands of people flocked to me. Tram lines, highways, thousands of spaces nice. for new buildings. It was only a matter of time before the population skyrocketed yet again. Yeah, except it, uh, didn't. It, what? For whatever reason, people had decided enough was enough, and they didn't want to move in anymore. What's worse is, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why. Mousing over the citizen why? happiness meter revealed that citizens in my city were having a wonderful time. Lots of wealth, reliable mm -hmm. city services, and no poo in the drinking water. Good. Yet, this city was just good. So why, then, was no one moving in? Hmm... You didn't have the Federal Union College of Knowledge, that's why. During this whole time of expanding the city, I had assumed that offices are just plain better than industrial areas. You see, offices can be placed anywhere, so I'd just been placing them wherever I pleased. Typically, right next to residential, so people wouldn't have to travel far for work. Unfortunately, there's a limit. At some point, people get sick of their keyboard slapping and need manufacturing jobs. So I gave them what they wanted, and holy shit! A nice influx of tens of thousands of people. I passed Whoa. over 100,000, then over 150. People were literally dying to get to my city. And predictably, the traffic was really bad. Yes. I expanded so much that I'd filled up the barrier island. I expanded down to the mainland, filling it with a huge, expansive suburbia. I built over a hundred elementary schools. The population grew still. I built these cool university buildings, the Large Hadron Collider, this needle-looking thing, and the population grew still. International airport, more suburbia, nuclear Great. energy, more industry, trams, trains, more suburbia, highways, skyscrapers, incineration plants, more suburbia, infrastructure of all shapes and sizes. The city grew, and grew, and grew. Perfect. And here we are, fellas. 300,000 citizens. I'm pretty confident this is the largest city ever built in City Skylines 2. Don't worry, someone's gonna try, try and come after that title. Maybe that someone would be me. Nah, actually, no, I don't have free time to play video games anymore. <sighs> I wish I could, but I just, I just don't have that time anymore. That time has passed. But... Maybe you at home will be able to defeat Martin Siddlepants. You don't know. You, 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 you could. Um, but I'll, I'll leave my thoughts for City Skylines 2 at the end of this video. Now, let me ask you a question. What are 300,000 people good at? Maybe making a lot of money or yeah. using lots of incineration plants or True. perhaps producing lots of digital goods. Yes, they are good at all of those things. But, they're most good at one thing in particular. Taking a dump. They are good at pooping. Gentlemen, I present to you the purpose of this city. What everything has been leading up to. I present the Pukano. No. You know, I just realized, get ready for more and more versions of Take me home, country road, oh, West Virginia. Go ahead, folks. Type it. Type type the lyrics in the comment section below. We all know it. What smells like shit? In That's actually pretty badass right there. Stand like that. <laughs> the ensuing Poonami, the entirety of mmm was destroyed. Only one single person remained. The Pooh Man. If you'd like to beat my record and claim even more lives, pre-order this fantastic game with my link. Good. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh wait. Hit, hit the wrong button there. He's staring right at me. All right, uh, City Skylines 2. Uh, 
my thoughts on it. First of all, the game looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the answer is yes, I would be more than happy to play that game. And more importantly, uh, you know, have, have it to my collection if and when I ever have time. After all, uh, I still have my ongoing city. I think my population is maybe at 100,000. It's been a long time since I played that game. And uh, I, I hope I hope to, 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 to go at it again. But I just I just don't have time. But what are your thoughts on City Skylines too? What are what were your what to you the viewing audience? What were your criticisms of the first City Skyline? Like what were some things that you just didn't like? What are things that you're hoping for that will be available in the new one? Uh, have you had a chance to see the new one get played in? Let's say from a larger content creator, have you seen them do a let's play of building the skyline? Um, what? are some of the things you're hoping to build and achieve. And I'm, I'm wondering if they have, like, obviously City Skylines is going to be a modding community. I'm wondering if they're going to have, like, major city landmarks, because then I could perhaps maybe, I don't know, build Chicago. That's right, a new Chicago, a greater Chicago, a superior Chicago with superior food, as we do in real life. So there you go. Um, all right, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this, the, the new City Skylines. Be sure to check it out when it's available. And, folks, the links to it are all in Martin Pants' YouTube channel. And so the original link to this video is in the description box below. Please support the original content creator. A lot of time, effort, and energy is made into making these fun videos. And we here at Chicago Reacts encourage all of you hip cool cats to please support the original content creator because it's the right thing to do. It's the one thing to do. At least you be swept away by poo. You know I'm right. The frog is in the wall. He's out there. Right there, right behind you.